hey what's up everyone how are you all so today in this video we are going to learn some tips and tricks and some unique features you would not know or you may know but these features are superb and you are going to love it these features will match your design to look awesome and take it to another level so let's get straight into the video So the first thing you need to do is go to settings and then general and then you have to enable this auto recovery option just enable it and done now whenever you are making a new project like let's make a plan document like this and you you are unable to save it and photoshop press your phone's battery is dead or whatever whatever happened to your phone and like let's close this and whenever you are you will reopen ps touch it will reopen your unsaved project just like that it is so handy feature like you have to enable it like whenever you want to import an image you have to search through this old-fashioned browser style file manager I, I don't know what to say and you have to find your image like this and it is a long process now all you have to do is enable access lot of photos and always use native photo browser and now whenever you will open a new photo there will be option for every gallery application you have like gallery it's so easy to use get to paint and import this so easy So next thing we are going to talk about is color matching. Like right? there is a handy feature to color match any of your picture. Like let me demonstrate you. Like this is our Patreon image. And we'll take a cut out picture, any PNG like this one. And we want to match colors of this with the pattern so it don't look so much fat, you know. So all we have to do is go to our PNG layer, click on layer option and click on this color palette and increase this slider. Let me show you how big of a difference it made. This was before, this is after with, with just one option. It's so freaking easy. So let's move on to our second feature, uh, fourth feature. It is deselecting pixel. Like if you are selecting some pixels, and you don't always have to click here and always have to click on deselect. There is a handy option. Use if you your pixel is selected. My pixel of this is. Let's select these pixels. All you have to do is click on marker selection tool or circle selection tool, any of these, and click anywhere outside the selection. It's that easy, and you'll take select the selection. But you have to keep it in mind that the mode is always neutral, it's not positive or it's not negative and let's go to our next feature which is so pointer if you are like using paint brush with your hand it's quite hard to use paint brush with hand like because you cannot see where you are coloring because there's your thumb 
over your pen press so all you have to do is click here and click on show pointer now you can easily see where to press quite easy and then we have option for drop shadow right not normal drop shadow we are talking about some pretty top drop shadow let me demonstrate you light 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 this is our background let's rotate it okay so let's take any random picture now if you are trying to drop shadow it with a normal drop shadow feature i would say yeah Although if you want to improve your drop shadow there is a video of mine to increase the quality and look of your drop shadow if, if you would like to check that out I would li link that down in the description below now here we are talking about duplicating the layer like this and then the layer which is below move that a little aside like just like that turn off snap now blur it now click here and go to brightness and turn trust and turn the brightness to minus 90 around minus 90 and you can see and there is a depth of field right. let me demonstrate you with another picture so this is the drop shadow photoshop will provide us and this is our custom drop shadow you will not judge you know you will tell me which one looks better I would say mine looks a lot better so let's move on to our next, next feature which is grain grain is cherry on top uh, it will it rainy night in photoshop decrease the opacity and make an empty layer above the background layer and make it overlay I would suggest it, it looks super you can increase the opacity and decrease the opacity as you need but it was super our next feature is gradient if you use gradient in photoshop this is gradient always use if I make a gradient between red and blue it will look weird always all you have to do is make another point in the middle of two colors and color it like set to other color it you can see it looks a lot better than before it a little bit depends on your preferences that looks awesome it is a lot dull from the middle you can also save your gradient by lower left corner where, where your custom gradient is tap on that and it will shift in the safe set so as you can see super handy 
and last thing is to save your beautiful designs you have to arrange it like arrange it beautifully so for that you have to click on these three layers and create a folder for everything like thumbnails thumbnail done save every thumbnail like for example click on move like this is thumbnail this is thumbnail click on ok and you can also create a folder from here too like uh, yo let's name the folder yo click on yo and click on ok by doing this your photoshop interface will be loaded more cleaner you will easily know which of your project is where and you will easily find any of your project so that's it for today's video hopefully you will like this video and for more videos like this a subscribe would be massively appreciated this is drive see you next time peace out